of the Canadian Card Collector here, and welcome back to day 270 of a daily deck review. And the deck that we're taking a look at today is another one of our archive series, and it is the Brown Bicycle Lotus Back playing cards. So, with no further ado, let's take a look and see what we get. But before we start, as always, these are fully sealed, so we're going to pull that tab and crack them open. Now that that's off, you can see it's in a standard glossy finish tuck box. Yeah, you got archives here, bicycle, lotus back playing cards. And it has that standard white tuck box with the brown overlay over top. And then you got the archive series at the top, bicycle, lotus back playing cards. And the bicycle logo. And the playing cards and the spade itself. And in the middle are embossed, so you can feel the texture of it. It's hard to see on camera, but... It is a little bit textured there. On the side it says Air Cruiser Finish, made in the USA with a little spade. Other side says Lotus Back, 1891 with a little spade. On the bottom you got your little information. You got the barcode, the bicycle website, and these were made in 2023. The United States Playing Card Company, made in the USA, little recycling logo. On the back, got a sneak peek of that back design. There is no seal. On the top, it says 808 Bicycle. On the tuck flap, you got some corporate information. On the inner tuck flap, you just got that glossy white finish. Now, if I take the cards out of the box. On the inside of the tuck box, it is just plain white. Nothing too crazy or fancy going on inside there. Now that we took a look at the tuck box, I'm take a look at the cards. And first we'll start with whatever card's on top, and we usually start with the back design, but this card's on top. And we've got the little bicycle ad card, which has all the different social medias on one side, and their website. And on the other side, it just says what the cards are. Well, it describes a little bit about the cards. They're made in the USA since 1885. Air are finish. Sustained paper from the forest. Vegetable-based inks. And premium card stock. And now for that back design, here we have a, mirror, a mirrored back design. Here with the standard whiteboard going on, and it is that brown and white colorway, and it's the lotus back design here with that flower design with that like oval shape with the little diamond pattern going through the middle there, and you got the leaves around. There was a little kind of little white and brown border around that with the white border around that. And it's a mirrored back design, so you flip it around. Same design in both directions. Now for the cards you get with the deck, you'll start with the first a Joker, the standard bicycle Joker, with the US, US in the corners, and then you got the Joker on top, with the king on the bike, and this is the black and white variation of the Joker. Then you got a second one, which is colored, with the yellow, red, and blue in it. It's the same, same, same design, just one's black and white, one's colored. And then for the custom Ace of Spades, so far, I think the spade's been the same. For all the archive series so far that we've seen, but here we have bicycle number 808, brand of US playing cards. You got that old style looking spade, and same as the bicycle logo. You got trademark number 8303, and the United States Playing Company, Lotus Back, 1891, made in the USA. And the pips of that old style look, you got that old style look to it. With the older style. Still pretty similar to like the standard, but they definitely are slightly customized to look older. Same as the court cards. Pretty standard looking, but you can definitely tell they're like the slightly older style with the different slightly different like design on their outfits there. And their faces are slightly different looking. And the diamonds are pretty standard. They're just the old style look to it. Once again. There's slightly a bigger, bigger diamond shape in the court cards once again. Which will look like the older style. And the clubs here supposed to look like the older style once again. Court cards. But still pretty like almost similar to the modern day ones. And the clubs are slightly custom to look older once again. You got that older style kind of. With the more bigger clubs to it. And then the hearts. That Customized heart design 
and then the court cards, same thing. It will look like that older style. And then those hearts are definitely older looking. And then the last card in the deck is the double backer of the back design. Now that we took a look at the cards, time to test the handling. And first we'll start with the springs. And I gotta say, a pretty nice, like, flex to the cards for the springs. They're definitely on the more thinner side. But they're not stiff at all. They had a great flex. Like, I was able to spring them with no effort. Which is really nice. So anyone can just grab this deck brand new and spring these. There's definitely no issues there. They're pretty smooth as well. So I'm going to say fantastic springs, and they don't feel overly slippery so far. Now on to the fans. As you can see, they spread pretty evenly. You can see most of the pips and numbers. There's no real stickiness or clumpiness to the cards. Now time for the Pharaoh. And the Pharaoh, like they did kind of catch and I did have to shuffle them together. So not the smoothest. And that they interlocked away pretty decently there. Now time for the giant fan of the back design. Now time for the reverse pharaoh. And the reverse pharaoh is definitely a lot more smoother. They might not have interlocked perfectly, but pretty smooth on the, the pharaoh there. Now for the giant paint of the faces. Now time for the riffle shuffle or bridge shuffle. As you can see, they definitely riffle. The first, like, two or three don't feel like the smoothest. But after you do a couple, they start getting more and more smooth over time. Just like most decks, don't feel, like, perfectly smooth right away. But after a while, they should get more smoother and broken in. So not much to say about the riffle shuffles, bridge shuffles. I want to a few pack of cuts. Well, guys, the pack cuts are pretty smooth there, and they pack it together really good. They don't feel like overly slippery, which is pretty nice. Now, on to the one handed cut or Australia cut. Now time for the dribble.
Well, like I say, this dribble is really nice and smooth in both ways, like face up and face down, which is pretty nice. Now, time for that spread fan. And lastly, spread the cards on the table. Well, like I say, another fantastic deck within the archive series. This is the third one I've reviewed so far. And like I say, pretty nice. They're in that nice brown and white colorway. And you've got that nice back design there. With that floral kind of flower design. They're pretty nice and elegant there. And then the faces. They are slightly custom, as you saw there. Each face is supposed to look, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to look like the older style, like kind of pips and faces there. They're slightly older. There. And then those court cards, definitely, you can definitely tell they're like slightly older style kind of court card, but still pretty modern looking at the same time. So overall, a pretty fantastic design. Design there so far. And for the handling, as you just saw, there was nothing negative to say about the handling. They're nice and like flexible right out of the box, like they're not stiff at all. And pretty smooth, you've got that nice smooth air cushion finish there. So overall, they spread fantastic. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. This has been day 270 of a daily deck view. This has been the Brown Bicycle Archive Series Lotus Back Edition. And I'm the Canadian Car Collector signing out. That's the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.